Totally. Do you just like it to rub it in my face? No, I love that. I swear you just like it to rub it in my face. I swear you don't like it to rub it in my face. Just to Why would I do that? To, just to compete about something. What's up, everybody? My name is Luke. I'm Paul. We are Twin Sauce. And today we are trying every sauce on the menu at whatever. Because we're Twin Sauce. Because so we're Twin Sauce. To, you gotta get the sauce. Are we doing a bracket or are we just gonna like rate it like worst to best? I think ranking them best to worst would yeah. be the best. It's got our oh, mag. Kenia was our uh, cashier. cashier, and she was so... So Hi, nice. Kenia, if you're watching this. Thank you for being here. Thanks for being here. Um, also, thank you for being so friendly and kind because we know that we were asking for a lot of weird things. Yeah. A uh, little backstory. One time we were after the movies and we were like, Whataburger is open and it's nighttime. We should go get a uh, honey butter and chicken biscuit. After 11, they serve breakfast from 11 to 11, but they were out. So instead, they had a seasonal thing there. Jalapeno cheddar, cheddar biscuit. biscuit. It was seasonal, but I, and I don't know if it's still around. Whataburger, but... bring it back. We also ate it with the jalapeno ranch, which is so good. And our friend Rick on our Patreon sent us a whole bottle of this stuff. Um, but they but also, they also sell, sell bottles at the store. We saw it on the door today, but they're all out. They were all out. Again, right. the good stuff goes fast, guys. Got... After getting the jalapeno cheddar biscuit, we got the, the jalapeno ranch with it. We, it kind of started this obsession with trying all the sauces. Why not do a video of us ranking all of the sauces from Whataburger? We're home. We made it. And we set all our sauces up. All right. We're gonna just jump right in. Let's do it. Let's just do it. Boneless. Definitely boneless. Okay, so my exciting. favorite actually. I put these out in no order. Do you wanna mm -hmm. go this way? Yeah, let's start with those. I guess I'm a little bit afraid that I don't know what that is. Me? This is the secret sauce. Wing. I'm trying um, to figure out what it tastes like. It has hints of uh, barbecue sauce. It's almost ranchy. It's like barbecue and ranch mixed in. I don't yeah. know what this is. I wouldn't say that it's necessarily like really good. I would um, say that's probably on the lower end of my scale. So should we put them up there maybe? Yeah. Bad side? Bad side. Good side. Good side. Okay. Mm -hmm. So maybe we'll put this one like right here-ish. Mm. This you, way? Go that way if you can. The next one is the Not iconic bad. gravy. She was real shook when we said we wanted the gravy. I know. Mm. Get a big gravy bite. That's a good gravy. I have a good gravy. <laughs> like a peppery sausage gravy. It's not like a buffalo wing, that's but a it's vibe. definitely a vibe. I'm gonna put that kind of toward the top for me. Oh, that's really high. I know, gravy. Okay. No, you can put yours wherever you want. Oh, you got oh, your own. Oh, that's right. You got your own. You think? Like there? Bad, good. And I, mine's pretty high up here, but Luke gravy, not so all much. Right. Okay. All right, all right, all right, next I to just go. know that the jalapeno ranch is gonna come in clutch right out there at the top. I, it's gonna be hard you know? to beat. It's gonna be, it's gonna be beat. a hard one to beat. That's a hard one to beat. Because we that's what caused the obsession. I know. Okay, this, this is, is like a thousand island, I think. That yeah. smells like Chick-fil-A sauce. A nice hef hefty dump. Chick-fil-A. creamy, sweet, a little tart. Here's is the it thing. better than the gravy? Oh, no. No, no, no. I'm gonna put mine like in line with that. I have to remember that there's like a buffalo in here. Okay. I know. And a jalapeno ranch. Don't get ahead of yourself. I know. I'm just saying. Don't. I gotta compare these. Okay, to those. sweet and spicy. This one is actually one dedicated for the for wings. the wings. Yeah, this is a wing sauce. Get yourself. Oh, a, that smells good. It's like it, a like a jalapeno pepper. Yeah, almost like a sweet and sour sauce. I'm excited. About I'm this excited one. about this. That this smells amazing. Yeah, and it's got like a nice glaze to it. Look at that. Alrighty, let's try it. Cheers. Sweet and spicy. <gasps> oh, bonk. Mmm. Oh, that is like a sweet and sour sauce, but it's more spicy. It's got a nice heat to it. Oh, I love spice. Mmm. Well, that's real good. It starts off sweet and it goes spicy. Mm -hmm. That is good. You know, like sweet and sour sauces are kind of like underwhelming sometimes. Always. Always. This is like what I want them to be. Yes. You know? Oh, we gotta keep moving. Whataburger. Bro, y'all killing it. Y'all killing it out here. Oh, I love the gravy, but I'm gonna have to put it. With it goes well because it's spicy. Yeah, I'm gonna go up there too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Next, the regular <laughs> spicy ketchup. Iconic. Everyone knows it. We love it. We love, we, we stand. Oh, we should have done the regular ketchup first. Oh, I kind of wish it was spicier. I know, especially after that sweet and spicy. I know. It was definitely a step up from ketchup, but it's kind of a step down from some of these, I think. I'm not, I don't feel too bad about putting it down there. Yeah, yeah. And now do, we regular... have to, do we have to taste the regular? No, we don't need to taste it. <laughs> it's a goodie, but it's an oldie. Here we go for Paul's favorite, buffalo. buffalo. I like buffalo, it's just not my favorite usually. Now what would elevate this is a little blue cheese dipping I could also dip in it, you know? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm. That is not my favorite. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. It's almost got a cheesiness to it. Oh, no. Which might be why I like it. Oh, mm. no, there's, did they add blue cheese to it? It tastes like there's like a mixture of blue cheese I know, cheese it's got a there. blue cheesiness to it. Ah, but I ew. love that little blue cheese. No, oh, yum. it's worse as it sits. Mm. No, that's the last, that's below ketchup uh -uh. for me. Uh -uh. Wait, yeah. I'm, I'm looking. Yeah, okay, we're gonna go to the next one. Hurry mm -hmm. up. Mm, that's so good. Hurry up. Do you just like it to rub it in my face? No, I love that. I swear you just like it to rub it in my face. I swear you don't like it to rub it in my face. 
Just to why would I do that? To, just to compete about something. I need like a whole box of these. You got that box of these, Marcy? Yes, bro. That slaps. Uh uh. Yeah. Something about me, I hate blue cheese. And I gave off blue cheese. I gave off buffalo blue cheese, which is a no for me. Buffalo alone, mm. sometimes. Okay. Uh, honey mustard, though. Not my fave. Oh, I do love honey mustard, though. Here we go. Honey must. Oh, gosh, good. They use Dijon mustard for that one. Yeah. That mustard flavor, man, I don't know. I'm not a huge, huge. They use the real mustard seed that's in like, this one. That's a good honey mustard. If you like honey mustard. You don't like honey mustard? I don't hate it. It's going up here with the gravy. I'm gonna have to. That's gravy level. I'm gonna have to. Better than the honey mustards? I just would choose it over honey mustard, Oh, too straight? Ooh, no. Ketchup wins on that one. Oh, for real? Yeah. Yeah. Listen, I would, I'm a garbage disposal. I'm, like, if I was on a, on a desert planet, and I, that's what I had, I'd eat it, but. Okay. Oh, this looks good. This is a creamy pepper sauce. Go. Um, it's a little boring. Especially compared to the other ones we've had. Personally, I think that's below these. <laughs> but even mustard. I would put this before. Like, really? I would opt for ketchup over that. Wouldn't you? You gotta push it this way. Interesting. Interesting uh, scenario we've got going on here. We already know about this one, so let's just open one. Yeah. It's honestly, uh, so good. The perfect amount of heat. It's it's quite spicy, but it was like the, for me the perfect amount of heat. Good heat on the back, but it's also a nice balanced ranch flavor. Like it's not like you lose Ugh. the you don't lose the ranch. Mm, what are they doing? I don't even know what. Mm, it hits everything I want. That is a number ten. That's a number ten out of ten. Yeah, ten out of ten mm -hmm. would recommend. I love that jalapeno ranch. Mm. Okay, what is this? Ranch, regular ranch, and they've like got a little bit crazy. larger greens in there, like the flakes and stuff. You know, like in huh? store bought stuff, it's pretty small. Dill. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm. That's really good. That's good. I think it beats out the buffalo sauce. Oh, no, no, no. Well, I hope you can see I'm all gonna that. put ranch below gravy, because gravy is such a surprisingly good dipping. Gravy? And mustard? What do you think about for mustard this for you? Gravy tier. I'm like gravy tier with you. You bet. Look at you. I love the gravy. That was I think so this good. is just below it. And above the mustard, though. I would agree with that. Okay. Yeah. Honey, what is this? Butter. Hun this is a honey butter sauce. Oh. Ooh. Oh, is that the honey butter stuff they put on the? <gasps> is that actually what they put on the? <gasps> that's what they put Wait. on the honey butter B chicken, chicken biscuit. Bit. Next time, I'm gonna order a honey butter chicken biscuit and a side of honey butter sauce. Cause you always need more. Here we go, honey Here. butter, honey butter chicken. Okay, yum. <gasps> <gasps> that hits the spot in a different way. That is S tier. That's S tier. It's above your buffalo. Oh, it is. Yeah. I have to say that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is so good. Yeah, right there. Jalapeno ranch. I'd say it's up there. If it, it, it tied up there with jalapeno ranch. Yeah. yeah Four. We're, we're getting full. Sure. We're getting full over here. All Last right. but not Honey least. barbecue sauce. I think we've left room right here in the middle for him. Okay. That is a nice barbecue sauce. Is it my favorite? No. Mm. I like it. Um, but I don't think I like it more than honey mustard necessarily or this ranch. But I think I'm going to put it right here. Oh. I would probably put this below spicy ketchup. You know what I mean? Like but above ketchup. But above ketchup, ketchup. ketchup. Yeah, because it's yeah, a little yeah. bit more basic. In first place, tied for first, honey butter jalapeno ranch. We just, it, 10 out of 10 would it recommend. Just, it just, uh, it says itself. For Paul, buffalo sauce in second place. I think not. I think so. Spi sweet and spicy, I think is like a surprising my, winner. My second, my second place, third place for, well, fourth place for Paul, but third place for me, yeah. is the gravy. The gravy was a shocker. I did not expect that to be. I agree. Well. Another surprising one, ranch. ranch being that high. That is a, it is a more flavorful and full flavor of ranch. It's elevated. I think it's an elevated ranch. I put honey mustard here next. Yeah. I'll put it way at the bottom. I, um, see, here's the thing, I just would choose ketchup over honey mustard. Never. See, I know. Never, I know that for you. For I know that for never, you. Never, ever. I know. Me. But this one is made with Dijon mustard. There's no doubt in my mind. And it is yeah. a very, uh, I think elevated. Again, just like the ranch, it surprised me. Here's the deal though, now we're talking oh, about gosh. it. gosh. I kind of expected the honey barbecue to be a little bit more elevated. Oh. I would still order these two over. I would agree with that, I would yeah, agree with that. Let's put that, we'll that. put our honey mustard yeah, on, the same. on the same plane. Yeah. And I also think that, wait, are these two the same? These Those are two are the, the same. same. I They're really do like both plane. of those. They're I just, just don't know what they are. Yeah, well one of them is like a very Chick-fil-A-esque sauce or like a Thousand Island, which is what yeah. uh, they classified as. And honestly, if you're there and you really like Chick-fil-A sauce, it's kind it's, of a dupe. It's, it's, it's a dog. Yeah, it's, it's good. It's really good. Whereas the other one, the the mystery flavor, which we don't know, it's kind of barbecue-y, kind of ranchy. But I would put it, I would even put that one below our ketchups. I would put that one even over the barbecue. I'd still take barbecue sauce. 
over uh, that. Yeah, you're right. Mm. That's what I mean. But maybe it's not like, ketchup, ketchup. Not regular ketchup, but, uh, yeah. but I'm gonna put my, my spicy ketchup. We're kind of agreeing on stuff now, except for the barbecue. Here, spicy ketchup. Oh. Yeah, see what I mean? Yeah, see what yeah, I mean? Yeah. See what I mean? And, and then, then we get down flavor. here. Now we get down here to ketchup. Kind of boring. I don't even know if we should have included it. We didn't even yeah. try it with them, because to be honest, it's ketchup. It's ketchup. Things and you don't want to be surprised. Ketchup, honey barbecue, spicy ketchup if you want a little kick. But it's the not a lot. The sauce has blue cheese in it, I swear. It doesn't say it does, but it does have a blue cheese flavor. Not it for me. Egg I bro. feel bad that I put honey mustard down yeah. this low. I wonder why. Hmm? Because I do really like it. Well, sorry. So then we have buffalo yeah. and honey mustard. Our big disagreements on those. But then last but not least, we have that creamy pepper, which felt kind of flavorless. If you want something a little more peppery and safe, it's not gonna surprise you. It is what it's it says. Mild. It's creamy pepper. Yeah. It's not spicy. The gravy is more peppery than the creamy yeah. pepper. So, yeah. But now here's the real test. Which one will we grab? A few extras. Which one's first? Yeah. I'm actually. No, I'm sweet reaching for. Oh. Dang. Sweet and spice. Dang. There's too many and, options. And I'm, I'm also reaching for these two. Yeah. I'm reaching but, for these two yeah, as well. Yeah, here, here, here. But. Oh, man. The gravy. I know the gravy. And the buffalo. But the buffalo's only for me. I know you didn't want it. These four are highlights. Massive highlights. I think these are our first placers. I think you really can't. The rest of them, they kind of tear in. Tear but in. these are like, I would. Get I would, the gravy. Get the gravy. Get the sweet and spicy. Get the honey butter. Guys, that's a hack, Paul. Get yeah, the honey, honey butter, butter chicken bi biscuit with a side of honey butter. Or just get your wings with honey butter. Yeah. No need Cut the, the bread. Biscuit. Whataburger hit it out of the park. Honestly, wait, wait, wait. Of the winners, three of them are specific wing flavors. True. Wait, is this a specific wing? Mm -hmm. I think so. Let's look on the app to make sure. But yeah, that's like the lame one. But buffalo, honey butter, and sweet and spicy. And what's the other two wow. that we, they didn't make it? So it plain and honey barbecue. Which plain made the cut because we're honey barbecue is the only one that didn't make the cut, and it was because it was safe. If you want a yeah. safe option, that's a really, it's a sweet barbecue mm. sauce. It's good. And even this one technically doesn't make the top five because it wasn't a, a, an agreed upon substance. These are the top four agreed upon yeah. substances. Yeah. Granted, two of them are very spicy. So not very spicy. I wouldn't say they're very spicy. No, but they have a good kick. This I one mean, has a kick. And then this one's just very peppery and this one's very sweet. <laughs> I still think this is my number one. Oh, do you? It still like surpasses mm. them all. And How that, perfect for my palate. Yes. Anyway, that's our thoughts on the Whataburger sauces. What sauce should we do next? Yeah, let us know in the comments below and we will see you in another video real soon. Don't die, okay bye. A special thank you to Matthew, Mark, Morgan, and Webster for being the realest of the real ones over on Patreon. If you want to join our team, head over to patreon.com backslash twinsauce or use the link below.